Hello, I'm Christopher. Welcome. Um, today I'm going to show you the different ideas I have for how to cache if you're using Netlify um, and you're using Netlify identity for authentication. This is a problem I had and continue to have and I think I have four different methods. Two are, I mean they'll technically can cache. Um, two I don't think are very good. Two are pretty good but there are a couple drawbacks to them. Um, I think, yeah, I'll just go through them and you can uh, see what you think of them. If you have any better suggestions, let me know. Leave a comment down below because I'd love to see if there's any better way of handling caching. Um, I just have a project I'm working on with an API that is really expensive and I don't have to keep making more requests than necessary. So if I can cache those requests, that'd be fantastic. So these are the ways that I would handle or and have considered handling caching with Netlify. All right, serverless caching using Netlify functions in Redis. All right, why cache? Like I said, uh, if you have a slower and expensive API, you want to minimize your expenses and also minimize the time it takes for users to get the data from the API. Um, you minimize the time to get the data, that means you'll have a better user experience. And if you minimize cost, obviously you won't have to pay as much to keep your services up and running. Um, the first solution I came up with, and this is the first one I tried, and it's definitely the worst solution, is this one. So you have the user who makes their request to Netlify for their static content, and then there's an API, and the API caches on the same machine. Um, it doesn't have to be Node, but I just, I'm familiar with Node, so I use that. Um, and then the Node server will forward the JWT to Netlify, and you'll have a Netlify function here, which sends the 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 user's roles back, and then you can use those roles to authenticate a request. Um, here, you're still uh, making an invocation with Netlify, so you don't even get around that with having your own API. Um, and it's kind of just a janky way to handle, uh, handle the authentication side of things. Uh, so yeah, create an API for the JWT for authentication in Netlify, um, use a standard API users can make requests directly to the API from the front end. Like I said before, to authenticate requests, you cre create an Netlify function that returns the user's role in the API admin alert to check if the user is authenticated. And then you'll just cache normally on the API server. Pros, higher security with Redis. So Redis is not designed to be exposed to the internet. So if you just have it locally on the machine and it's it's not it's only accessible via local host, local host um, that's a better way to handle the caching side of things. Now the cons, you're still invoking Netlify functions, obviously, and it's kind of a hacky way to authenticate requests, like I said. Second solution I came up with is you just create an API with Netlify, uh, Netlify functions, and you have an open Redis server uh, that's accessible anywhere on the internet, and you just handle your caching with, with that. Um, this is, technically speaking, the current method I have set up for my project. I'll probably switch it eventually. Um, yeah, so using Netlify functions for the API, you're caching on a Redis server open to the internet. It's much simpler um, than the other one and authentication is handled directly by Netlify, which is good. The problem is that it's less secure. Um, if people figure out which server your, your Redis instance is on, even if you have a password, the thing is uh, Redis is really fast, so they can it, it, you can kind of brute force it um, without too much difficulty. Um, so that's the con of using an open Redis server. The third solution, and this is probably the one I'll go with, is still having a standard API, um, but you authenticate the request uh, via a Netlify function. You just forward the request along if the user is authenticated. Um, this would just be like, like imagine this is a third party API. This is just what you would use anyways. Um, so it's just instead of hosting a third party API, you just make one yourself and you can handle caching there. Um, yeah. This I think is the most straightforward solution if you don't have a business plan. Um, so you create a standard API with caching on the same machine so it's more secure. And the user makes a request to Netlify, Netlify authenticates the request and forwards request to the API. Um, the pro authentication is handled directly by Netlify and it's a higher Redis security. It's a little bit more complicated though, um, so that is, is a con. And then the fourth solution, um, the user requests to Netlify for their static stuff their static content, and then to an API with a JWT authentication. Um, this requires a business plan to access your JWT with Netlify if you're using Netlify identity, but then you don't have to make a request to Netlify to authenticate the user. You can just 
bind the roles by decoding the JWT, and you can handle caching on the same server, so you don't need to have the Redis open to uh, to the general internet, to the general public. Um, so I think technically speaking, this is probably the best solution. Uh, it just requires the business plan, and if you don't have a, a site that really justifies using the business plan, that, that part kind of doesn't make sense. Um, so you're creating a standard API with caching, uh, and using the JWT secret from Netlify to decode JWT requests. The pros, authentication is handled directly by the JWT, which is nice. There's higher Redis security, uh, and there are no extra invocations for Netlify functions, which also means you'll get faster responses. Uh, like I said, it's a little more complicated and it's expensive because you need the business plan, which is 99 bucks a month. So thank you for watching. I'll be making more uh, development videos, so make sure to subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. I will be keeping an eye out for them. Uh, and that is it. Thank you very much, and have a good day.